State Southwest Nigeria, Higher Comfort, Arapa Shopping. On Punch News Power this morning, PDP crisis. Northern Coalition says Ayu must resign. The coalition of the Northern Nigerian People's Democratic Party Youth Movement has demanded the resignation of the national chairman of the People's Democratic Party, Senator Iyocha Ayu. The coalition in its protest at the PDP Secretariat in Kaduna on Friday said the national chairman had to keep his promise and resign. Following the crisis that the party had faced since former Vice President Atiku Abubakar clinched the presidential candidate ticket of the party for the 2023 general election, spokesperson of the coalition Mr. Shemu Isatandina stated that the PDP was not a northern party for the party for everyone, either from the north or south. Mr. Dahina, who noted that some PDP governors and leaders, particularly from southern Nigeria, were insistent that for fairness, northern Nigerians should not hold both the party's presidential ticket and national chairmanship position, said the country needed the PDP at the hands of its affairs for overall well-being of Nigerians. He further urged the PDP Board of Justice and National National Working Committee to be just and fair in order to get the party to victory. More details check from the newspaper and Banga newspaper. We will shut down country if strike is not called off. Nance tells Freedom Asu. The Students' Union Government SUG President of the Abuba Katapara Balewa University has said that the National Association of Nigerian Students NARINS will shut down the country if the strike embarked on by the Academic Staff Union of Universities continues. The, the Abuba Katapara Balewa University SUG President Comrade Usman Abubakar was speaking at a press conference organized by a northeast zone of NARINS in Bauchi of Friday lamented that the strike will deny students who have close to the age of 30 from experiencing NYC because of the law that bars graduates who are over 30 years from participating in the scheme. Heller, the coordinator of the non zone hate, Azana Hadam, had appealed to ASU to obey the court's order and return to class so the students can pursue their dreams. An unfortunate part, consumers keep against federal government plan for more bans. Some Nigerians are keyed against the proposed plan by the federal government to ban the consumption of cook cow skin, popularly known as Pumo. It will be recalled that the Director General of the Nigerian Institute of Leather and Science Technology, Zaira, Professor Muhammad Yakubu, recently said the Institute and other stakeholders would be approaching the National Assembly and state government to establish a legislation to ban the consumption of the cow skin. According to him, the decision is aimed at reviving the moribund tanneries and leather industry in the country, saying it had no nutritional value and should be prescribed to save the industry and boost the nation's economy. However, some consumers, traders, and experts who spoke to these men in separate interviews said banning for more would further increase economic hardship on the poor masses. A consumer repair at Bishola said she was constituting B and fish with Pomo as a result of the high cost of the protein added that if the government decides to ban it, it will inflict hunger on the people because the person that does not have money for meat will buy Pomo. In the same vein, Chairman Butcher and Meat Set and Seller in the same vein, Chairman Butcher and Meat Sellers Association Bola Ike International Market Ibado. Ishola Olale constated that any attempt to ban the consumption of cow skin will not only affect the consumers but also take away jobs from some Nigerians. For more details, check Vanguard newspaper. And that will be all on newspaper review today. Join us tomorrow for another edition. You can as well subscribe, share, like to our social media handles on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube at Africa TV. I am Comfort Arapa Shoku. Many thanks for listening. Good day.